Hello, everybody. How you doing? Hi there. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And yeah. we noticed that we're both wearing white hats and red shirts. <laughs> we didn't even plan it, so that's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. But we're streaming live tonight from our bedroom because Mr. Diggles has um, use of the living room because he had his snip snip surgery today. Yeah. So the living room is set up for his recovery. So yeah. we're in here so he doesn't get all excited hearing us talk. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> he's, he had to go from whatever he was before he's not now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Less of himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing good, so that's good. Yeah. So I'm going to send our invite. He's still a cute little booger. He is, and he weighs 10 pounds, so poor little thing. Yeah. But I hope you guys all had a great day. It's Wednesday, and um, hope you all are staying safe and diligent. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're on Hebrews 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Hi, Mom. Thanks for joining us. Hello there. Mom's babysitting Diggles right now, so we could do this. So thank you, Mom. She was in the dog cage, actually. She was. We're all taking turns getting in the cage with him. Yeah. We're all hanging out. <clears throat> we're hanging out. That's his clubhouse tonight, so mm -hmm. we're hanging out with him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he's getting special treatment. He's um not spoiled at all. No, he's not. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, in our cage, when we were kids, was smaller. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Remember those cribs they used to put us in? No. My mom used to hang me upside down off the um the roof shingles like christmas lights wow right mom that's because you were the brightest one yeah, <laughs> <Nah>. yeah. <laughs> that's funny yeah. yeah oh that's funny well, hello everybody hello we'll get serious now <laughs> so anyway we start with hebrews 12 i think uh and this is talking about jesus the title of it is jesus founder and perfecter of our faith yes and um laura dake has the first note i do actually <clears throat> the verse one which is the first but my note is, kind of, this is talking about run the good race and have endurance. And it was kind of telling us that we do need to have endurance. And endurance is kind of like having patience and being strong. And that endurance gets us through the good times, the bad times, the happy times, the sad times. But endurance gets us through the race. And that um, with endurance, you don't just have like a real quick run and sprint and then you lose strength and you kind of quit and die. But endurance helps you just run a steady pace all the way through and um, you get to the end. So um, it kind of helps us with our prayer life. You know, we will have sometimes highs and lows and things, but we just have to keep staying steady and patient and endure. Most definitely. Woohoo! Yeah, and, mm -hmm. um, and our, our endurance, what are we enduring in? Prayer to God. Yeah, in the Christian life. Yeah, you know? in Christian life. That's a good, yes. Yeah, because actually, I mean, there's um, a lot of uh, phoniness on TV. They talk about Christian yes. life being all joy, happy, and things like that, but it's a real life. Right? It is. I mean, we're real people. We have real troubles, and and uh, sometimes our sight is bigger than our faith. Yes. And so, that, I like, you know, that. Which, well, and we'll get off track, which is going to talk a in a little bit about discipline, but um, we'll get off track because, you know, I might be praying to... Um, this is an exaggeration, but praying to win the lottery and really God's like, no, I don't want you to do that. I want this other road for you, which the other road might seem harder, but mm -hmm. in the end it's better, mm -hmm. but I don't know that at the time. So yeah. Yeah. So enduring through all that too. That's good. Thanks. I like that. Thank you. Well, um, verse two, I think uh, really helps us with this enduring as mm -hmm. well, because it talks about Jesus. I mean, his focus on enduring the cross and because um, that was a lot. And doing the cross and stuff, and it was his love for us and mm -hmm. everything like that. But it said, um, it says for for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. So he he looked at that. We gotta look at the prize. Mm -hmm. We gotta keep our eyes on the prize. And um, that's like a uh, people who just run like in races and they don't get a prize at the end of it. That's just practice because that doesn't mean anything. Right. But. They want to run for a prize. They want to win. Like people who race cars, they want to win something. Yeah. So we're looking forward to win the prize. Well, Jesus shows an example of that. How he endured the cross and everything to win us. He's looking at the joy ahead of what it, what it what produced out of that. What I like, too, so. how the cross was really a hard thing, but he had joy. Yeah. So I mean, that's, he, you know. He, he even prayed, Father, take this cup away from me, if it's your will. Mm -hmm. So it was that hard. He was mm -hmm. sweating blood. But... He's willing to endure it for the joy, the reward at That's the end cool. of it. That's so, cool and special. Yeah. So we got to... I like that. We got to do what you said, have that endurance. I love you. Yeah. Well, I had a note on number seven, and I just... It's not really a note. I just, I just like it. Um, but 
it's like we were just talking about God has to sometimes dis- discipline us. And it's not like he gets us a paddle out and spanks us, but you know, he disciplines us because he's our father and he loves us. And, um, when we get off track, he kind of gets us back on the right track. And so, um, discipline is loving. So that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. In today's society, discipline is kind of shunned. Yes. But then, um, people don't have good direction in their life. They're mm-hmm. not trying in life. And, uh, we, God's direction keeps us, like, we get, uh, like you said, not punished, but, you know, corrected mm-hmm. so that we can have the best. Yeah. You just said that a minute ago about having the best. Well, things I would mean, be chaotic if it wasn't. We have to mm-hmm. have boundaries and rules and stuff, so yeah. it makes sense. I mean, we're real people with a real society and God, yeah. so. And we're sinful at our core, so, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want that running wild. Nope, you put, <laughs> put that in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> I also had a note on 12. I like this one for me. Just lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees. Um, and that just, I take it, it doesn't mean it this way on here, but I like it towards, like, my prayer life. You know, get my hands strong and quit drooping them and get on my knees and strengthen them. So I kind of like that for a prayer life, you know, just yeah. get stronger in my prayers. That's really good. I like that one. And, uh, <clears throat> on a side note of that, we mm-hmm. have seen amazingly how the power of prayer has made a difference. It does. In all of our lives. Yes. And so, it's just, um, I like what you said there. I love you. Yeah, I can use that too. Um, and so, uh, let's see here. I don't have that many notes in this one because I was reading it, but I forgot to take notes. <laughs> well, my next note is 28, and I think you were going to tag onto it. But oh, okay. on 28, it's kind of towards the end there. But it was saying, like, um, about the kingdom of God and being um, thank, uh, grateful. But it says, to let us offer God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. And I think it's kind of cool. The only thing that we actually have to offer God is worship and reverence and love and awe. And so it's nothing we do. It's just that we offer him worship. We, it's like, what I mean is, like, our, um, you know, if, um, if Rick's better than me, which he is, but if, you know, if he's better than me, um, his works aren't going to make anything better. It's just that we have to worship God and reverence him and all, and uh, give him our love. Yeah, yeah. I well, probably said that weird, but I think you know what I mean. But I think I know what you mean because, I mean, in the ultimate end, we receive everything from yeah. God. So, and we're made to worship him. So, so when we offer it back, we're just giving an offer of worship and thanks yeah. and praise. Cause and nothing, well, because there's nothing we can give him because he made it all. Yeah. And he, so there's nothing, anything that we give him is just giving back his own gift. It's like somebody giving you, <laughs> you give somebody something and they go, here, I love you. And they yeah. give it back to you. Yeah. You know? so, but if they say thank you mm-hmm. and you, they're appreciative of yeah. it, yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah. So, um, and uh, Peter said that um, that we offer spiritual sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving. Mm. So that's our sacrifices nowadays because Christ already completed the other sacrifice. That's our sacrifices cool. of praise and worship Wait. and thanks. So. I like that. Yeah. But you had a note on something before, but um, maybe I passed it up on you. I probably did. Um, I'm sorry, I was a little sloppy on this, but I I did enjoy it a lot. But I um, I think I read it more than and I forgot to put notes in. Well, it was a little busy because of Diggle's Day too. Yeah, Diggles was... Diggles! Yeah, we hate this. Hey, they had to get his little surgery today, but... Um, <coughs> well, that's it for now, because I can't find the rest. <laughs> but that's cool, but we're right on track again. But At least in Hebrews, we're staying on time. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, but their takeaway is we want to endure, and we want to keep our eyes on the prize. Yes. And... Uh, Give God worship and praise. That's right. So that's awesome. And it's actually we, really strong. I know. Yeah. That's like the whole point. Yeah. And, um... Yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, go ahead, what you shared on Facebook. Oh, yeah, the ligand area? Yeah. Okay, so um, I put a, a uh, there's a site we go to a lot. It's ligand Air Ministries, and um, they have an app. It's ligand Air Ministries app. But today, for the first time, and they're going to run this for a few months, <clears throat> they're giving, they're letting their teaching series be for free. Mm-hmm. That's like 2,500 uh, teaching uh, series, you know, of different stuff and and uh, <clears throat> if you've ever had questions like like when you're studying the word of God it's to put everything together you have to know the end the beginning to end to make something work well it's, that's hard to do but what theology does is it puts things in categories like <clears throat> for instance like the providence of God which is great for right now is God's hand still in what's going on right now that's a good question mm-hmm. I mean people want to know that kind of stuff so there's all kinds of teaching series on marriage and... Yeah, it's not all hard stuff. There's no. easy stuff, too. 
No, but it just makes sense. It just helps put things together. Like in, It's like a baby conference. Yeah, it's like little chunks of stuff mm-hmm. to make a whole. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And as I say, so what's really <clears> neat, though, is like right now for people that are home because of the virus and stuff, it'd be a great thing to do. And mm-hmm. you can watch them or you can just play them and listen to them. Like you can put a headset in and just play it when you're doing whatever. Um, but so the Lincoln Air app, I'll just show you real quick, if you can see on my phone. It is this green one. No, it doesn't look it's green on my green, phone. Though, it? But it's right there. You know what? I'll send the app. I'll put the app. There it is. Green. On there too. And it, so, anyways, when you click it, it pulls open like that. And, and maybe it's not showing up for put, us. Put a little closer. Let me put this light off, too. Maybe. Oh, oh there. there you go. Hi, okay. Everybody. Okay. So, here's the app when you first open it. And what you do is you just scroll down, down here to where it says um, Teaching Series. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see. Um, teaching series. Right there, yeah. And when you click it... It's hard to do it back I think that light's in the way. That light on the ceiling. Oh, oh I can fix oh, that. Hot. Hang on. There. Okay, now maybe try it. Let's see. Okay, so when you click on teaching series, it brings these up in alphabetical order. So there's all these... Like, like that, angels? Yep, if you want to know about angels... But it's like Asgard. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. We're reading this backwards and upside down. So, but it's really cool. So, um, there's even one though. Like I saw um, under the eyes, it was like intimate marriage. So, like if you want to do like a marriage mm-hmm. one, um, there's like I mean, there's, so there's not just hard stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, there's one even about like how you got the Bible. Like, is the Bible really real? There's one that's jo- oops joy. Well, that's a good example. So when you open one up, I mean, when you click it, it oops. It brings the um, talks open. <laughs> but um, so it's really cool. So this was a bad example but of how I'm doing it. But anyways, it's really neat because it just it has some. There's, ha- there's like one right there called uh, Knowing Scripture and, um, and uh, Knowing God's Will. If you ever had a question like, what's God's will for my life? But um, and then Knowing Scripture, how to read the Bible. There is a way to read the Bible. Yeah. And it makes it, you know, makes sense. So <clears throat> there's. There's all kinds of cool stuff in there. And let me show you the front of the app now again, too, since um, we turned the light off. But so it is... Let's see if it comes through. If it doesn't... Uh, uh, it's this one right there. Let's see. Right there. It looks like a tree inside of a guitar pick. <laughs> <laughs> there. I got it. There it is. That green thing. Yeah. That's it. I'll go ahead and I'll post that um, app on the... Our website. That'd be cool. So I can go right to it. But there's all kinds of... And it's free right now, like all the way till June or July or something. So... That's pretty cool. I can't tell you how much money that is because <coughs> um, it's it, it's like college it's like college courses made easy. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Oh yeah, because I can understand it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's for everybody. Yes, so, it's pretty cool. Yes. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us. We love you. Yeah. Have a fun evening. Stay yes. safe. Stay safe. Healthy. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash my hands. Um, in case I don't know how much you guys are into everything and stuff, but we did also hear and reading on it's on the um, websites, to, not our website, but on the CDC and stuff. But the virus can um, um, be in the air for like several hours. I forgot the amount. I want to say like three, but I'm making that up. But it can actually just be in the air for that long. So besides staying six feet away from people, the air is contaminated for that long. Um, if somebody goes through there and like sneezes or coughs, so be really careful. And um, surfaces, like like doorknobs and stuff, like at restaurants, which now are mostly closed. But if you like go to the store, um, just be real careful because when you're touching something, um, you know, m- most everybody's wiping stuff down now, but, you know, some wipes aren't as strong or good as they should be. But some of those surfaces can be 24 hours that virus can live on that. So be really, really careful not to touch mm-hmm. your face um, and just wash your hands and sing happy birthday or say a prayer while you're doing it. But, you know, you got to do it a little longer than normal. Yeah. They I know. Just, no, that's worth it. I love yeah. you. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. Love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Hebrews 13. And then that's the end of that book. What? We got another one done together, you guys. That's cool. One this is chapter. really cool. Love amazing. You. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye.